The interview of Minister Monica Mchangwa with Kathy Motisana on Newsroom Africa has raised a lot of eyebrows, but more of it, it has actually failed to live to the standard of the Minister of Information and Publicity. I don't know if I'm going to get in trouble with this because of the patriotic bill, but one thing that I can assure you is there are a number of things that the Minister failed to address. When you are aggrieved by journalists, you need to stand your ground. She spent almost all that interview trying to justify that, trying to justify that, and she did not address the key important issues. The first issue was, what is the patriotic bill to the men in the street? Number two, if I say there is cholera in Zimbabwe, and I'm outside Zimbabwe, am I going to be arrested for that? If I say we don't have electricity in Zimbabwe, Am I going to get arrested for that? And if I say the minister has failed to address A, B, C, D so that we don't have uh, functioning uh, hospitals in Zimbabwe, am I going to get arrested for that? Those are the issues that she needed to address. The issue of the patriotic bill, it needed to be explained in no uncertain terms that this is what it means not the issue of sanctions because we know that the sanctions were never brought by the opposition they might have encouraged it but they were not the enforcers of it the sanctions are always put to advance the interest of the usa the interest of the west because if their interests are not met it means that they will move swiftly to enforce the sanctions and as you are aware what really caused the sanctions is the land reform program it was a good initiative that we needed the land but the way it was done it was done haphazardly it was done without proper planning on how it was going to make sure that we don't fall short in terms of food supply in Zimbabwe and in the process uh, people were not given uh, the land they were given offer letters and then later 99 year lease so we did not get the land per se we just had access to the land which is good in its own but we need more than that because for you to just have access to the land the land should be able to give you access to loans so that you can be able to develop the land with the finances that comes from financial institutions that is a subject for another day but that is the main reason why we got sanctioned as Zimbabwe because of the people that lost their land. So, the opposition is not the ones that brought sanctions. We should not hide behind the finger that the opposition is the one that is bringing sanctions. So, what is more that I must not say as an individual, and a opposition leader must not say as an individual, or any other person in the media should not say for them not to be affected by the patriotic bill. This is a cause for concern. Some of you, you know that tyrannical governments, even like the likes of Russia, there is a man by the name Alexander Litvenko who died in UK after he uh, became rogue against the government of Russia. He said things about Putin, he said uh, things about the bombings and all of that. I mean, he had exposed the state secrets. Those ones, they are common in any government. Even even the government of America, if you cross the line of exposing the secrets of the American government, they will get to you. So these are the things that needed to be explained in clear terms to everyone so that it doesn't seem like you are targeting media, you are targeting the opposition, you are targeting, you are targeting civil society, you are targeting us who are analysts of the government. What do you make of the patriotic bill and the interview by Minister Monica Mchangwa? Did she do a good job in addressing all the premonitions that are in people's minds? Love to hear you in the comment section.